What's up, y'all? I'm Mr. President, better known as Prez the Investor. And just in case you missed this afternoon's live stream, here's a brief clip. But before we go any further, I need you to do me just one favor. Hit the like button for me. And if you have not done so already, subscribe. Now, without any further ado, let's take a look at Visa. Take a symbol V, better known as Visa, is currently down 0.40% on the day. Current price for Visa, 274.14. We have a 52-week high of 293.07 and a 52-week low of 226 even. Current dividend yield was 0.76% for a grand total of $2.08. You will simply divide that 208 by 4 because this is a quarterly dividend paying company and that will be your estimated dividend payout per however many shares that you currently own all right visa let's see what's going on in the news with visa let me grab my other device because i do not have the entire article on screen however i will read most of it off doj slaps visa with antitrust suit credit cards shape up and metrics improve credit to the author harrison miller and this article was posted on 9 24 2024 visa stock retreated tuesday after the united states department of justice filed an antitrust suit against the dow jones payment giant meanwhile stocks for card companies are shaping up as their monthly metrics continue to improve so what happened the justice department on tuesday this was the tuesday of when this article was posted sued visa alleging that it monopolized the united states debit card market since 2012 the wall street journal reported bloomberg first reported on the imminent lawsuit late monday the Department of Justice claims that Visa illegally hindered rivals with incentive payments to keep financial technology firms to stay out of the market. Visa allegedly punished merchants with higher fees if they routed some transactions to other card networks. Wow. Meanwhile, Visa also harmed customers because card fees were passed on in the form of higher prices for goods and services. The card giant holds about 60% share of the debit payments market and earns about $7 billion annually in debit card swipe fees, according to the Department of Justice. Visa has unlawfully amassed the power to extract fees that far exceed what it could charge in a competitive market, Attorney General Merrick Garland said. Visa's unlawful conduct affects not just the price of one thing, but the price of nearly everything wow <laughs> damn visa <laughs> say it ain't so however i don't think visa is going anywhere and i still think visa is a fairly decent investment visa incorporated engages in the provision of digital payment services it also facilitate facilitates global commerce in the transfer of value and information among the global network of consumers merchants, financial institutions, businesses, strategic partners, and government entities. It offers debit cards, credit cards, prepaid products, commercial payment solutions, and global automated teller machines. The company was founded by D-Hoc in 1958 and is headquartered in San Francisco, California. Take a look at the last three dividend payments. Last payment, dividend payment date was September the 3rd, 2024, for a cash total of $0.52. Cents. Previously, before that, was the same amount, and that was June 3rd, 2024. And previously, before that, grand total $0.52 cents per share was on March the 1st, 2024. Let's look at the previous earnings. Seems to me that they miss estimates on revenue by 0.29 percent and they also miss earnings per share by 0.22 percent not too bad although they did miss but not too bad 
Let's see what the analysts had to say. Remember, don't listen to these analysts, y'all. Do your own research. Give me one second because I can't see that. We have Monez just simply has a hold rating. Barclays has a buy rating, target price of 319. Morgan Stanley has a buy rating, target price of 322. And Barb has a buy rating with a target price of $320. Current P.E. ratio is 29.38 compared to the industry average, which is 23.74. So based off of the price to earnings ratio, Visa is slightly overvalued. <clears throat> Share price can come down a bit more. Let's look at the five year performance before I go into price ranges. Over the past five years, Visa is currently up 57.79% five-year performance. Not bad. All right. Let's take a look at the charts. Let's zoom out. Let's zoom out again. Let's take a look at the weekly. Being as though I feel as though Visa needs to come down some more. I really like it from 251 on down to about 228. I really, really like it. I like it now, but I really like it down there. And this would be a level three type of a investment for me. Yep, that's my story on Visa. If you would like to see more content like this, Give me a thumbs up. Also, leave me a comment. Thanks for watching. If you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you will work until you die.